Really? You got to be kidding me. That's Pastor Kelly coming at you today. Uh, if I sound a little down, I'm not feeling really well. We're not going there. How many of you guys have heard of the debtor's prison? They done away with them uh, in the late 1800s, uh, early 1900s. I think there may have been a few here. Uh, don't quote me on that, but they certainly are all over Eastern Europe. And what they were is if you couldn't pay your debt to the government, the taxes, or if you borrowed $5 off of Mr. Smith and couldn't pay him back and he took you to court, well, you went to debtor's prison until it was served. You come out, they rearrest you because you couldn't pay the next debt and back in. Sound, now keep that in mind when I show you this next thing we got going on here. It seems like Texas is trying to return to that. Uh, See, they went out there the other day and they started arresting this one feller. They took I don't know how many marshals and a full battle rattle to get this guy over a fifteen hundred dollar debt and took him to court, handcuffs, all the whole nine yards. I'll leave a link for the article. But it seems to me like that those things were outlawed hundreds of years ago and then our constitution forbade them. Just saying, I you guys may know more than I do. Like I said, I'll leave a link for that. But keep that in mind when we go to here. What most people forget is we were bought with the price, the price of Jesus Christ's blood on the cross. And to him is the greatest debt of all. Paul tells us, therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Well, my moral to this is the flesh accumulates lots of debt. You live 70 years, I wouldn't even want to think about the debt you've accumulated in the flesh. The Spirit only has one debt, and that debt is paid in full by the blood of Christ for your asking, for your receiving. Folks, are you living in Christ? Are you living through Christ? Because I'm going to tell you right now, time are getting short. The signs are showing up everywhere. And it's not long before that our precious Lord comes back. And if you're not saved, if you're not saved, you won't be going with him. You'll be going somewhere else. And that's straight down, down in the hot place, hell. I'm just thinking about you and thinking for you. And I thought I'd give you some information on this other things, too. And it just reminded me, you know, we've all... We we're born in debt to Christ, you know, and he paid, but he paid that for us. So, God bless you one and all, and uh, pray for me, and I'll be praying for you. Pastor Kelly's out of here.